Hey everyone, Joseph Gallegos here with Gray for Green. Today we're going to talk about rain barrels versus gray water or gray water versus rain barrels. So rain barrels are cool. And I, I think they're they're nice that they have they they offer them. But the key with rain barrels is that it doesn't rain much here in Southern California. So a typical rain barrel is about 50 gallons. So that's when it rains, it's gonna fill up 50 gallons and then you're gonna have 50 gallons to use. And then once that 50 gallons goes away, it's gone. So you got that 50 gallons, it's up here. That 50 gallons is gonna, it's gonna go away pretty quick. Now, if you're gonna make an investment, it's a little more investment, is gray water. Gray water on average is gonna generate 35 gallons a day. So that's 35 gallons a day per person. So let me see what that is for a family of four. That's 140 gallons. So you can automatically see that by using gray water, you're going to have a lot more water to put on your landscape to keep it green than you do with rain barrels. And you can just do the math if you go from 50 gallons to 500 gallons. It's just a number of days that's going to equal to get to that same volume and be able to, to use it on a daily basis, though. So here you're using it on a daily basis. Here, once you collect it, then you have to use it. It's gone. And then you're going back to, to drinkable water. Here, you're staying away from drinkable water. And then you're saying, this is my water budget for my landscape. I have 140 gallons a day. To spread out in different sections of my landscape and do a round robin and keep everything nice and green consistently and you're going to find in the long run this is going to give you a greater return on your investment than the rain barrels another thing i like about gray water systems is that it's a constantly flowing system so there's no stagnant water where a rain barrel if you just happen to forget to put a screen on it or there's some type of sitting water you're going to start to have Mosquitoes, a big issue as we're starting to see the West Nile virus and Zika popping up in our area. So my house, I stay away from rain barrels. Um, I'm not going to criticize anybody who puts them in, but I'm just going to say that if you're going to put money into anything, maybe you should really think about this number on a daily basis than only this number on a rainy day or rainy season. So that's my tip for the day. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a great water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.